Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I am back with another video. I thought this one would be nice to do for you guys since I've been getting a lot of questions on the type of sunscreen that I am using for my face. And if you watched my previous videos before of my unboxing or my product hauls that I purchased over quarantine, you should know that I purchased three different types of sunscreen from uh, Yes, style. And it's, I think I want to say it's about a little over a month now that I have tested them, wore them, and figured out which one I liked the best. I also told you guys that I'm not wearing much sunscreen. I, mean, I try to find it in my uh, foundations and BB creams. But I find that having a, a sunscreen underneath acts like a primer. Obviously, it can be a moisturizer or a, a something that you can wear at the last step of your skincare. So I'm finding that my makeup goes on a little bit smoother after um, I put the sunscreen on and then I put the primer on and then my foundation and everything so yeah I have three different brands here and I thought to maybe just talk a little bit about them so I'm just gonna apologize ahead of time if I say the brand wrong but I'll link them each one I have that I use down below like I said it has been about over a month now since I've tested them and I do have one that I like more than the other okay so let's go ahead and start out with the Claris one it is the Soft Airy UV Essence. It is a everyday sun protectant. It is a weightless, invisible, daily sunscreen that guards against UVA and B without leaving a greasiness or white finish. It's vegan friendly, it's a water based, it's a board spectrum sunscreen, and it has SPF 50 plus. Now this one is made in Korea, and I would have to say that this one is my favorite. Why? Because it does live up to what it say. It's very weightless. It doesn't leave a white cast on you. Uh, it's very water-like, very weightless, as I said before. It goes on very smooth. I don't find it to be very heavy or tacky, which I do truly like. Like I said, it also doesn't leave a white cast, which I do not want, you know? So um, I would recommend this one, and this one retails for $20.70. You get about 80 millimeters in this tube overall you don't even know you have it but just keep in mind though like you are supposed to constantly reapply sunscreen almost like every two to three hours being very active or in the water or or any needs that you are already like if it's already come off so i would definitely recommend reapplying obviously if you're going outdoors i don't know why you would wear full face makeup but if you do you might want to invest in a uh, sunscreen spray for the face now that I am currently waiting for it to get shipped in so once that gets in let me know if you guys want to know how that works or how I like it I'm gonna move on to the next brand here it is Bano Biggie sorry if I killed it okay I'm not sure it is a milk thistle repair sunscreen so essentially it's supposed to repair as well as keep your skin protected from the Sun now this is my second favorite I would use this one after the Claris, if I did not have the Claris, it is running at 18.55 right now. It is SPF 50 plus. It says that it is packaged to over with 75% moisturizing ingredient. It is suitable for the most sensitive skin. Okay, so if you have sensitive skin, I would definitely recommend this. And this one is not as thick. I would say it's a little tacky at first, but it dries really fast. It's very lightweight. It's very thin. You won't have a white cast from it, and it does quickly absorb into the skin. Both the Claris one. And and the one that I'm currently talking about. I would recommend that one for sure. If you do have sensitive skin, maybe you should just try this one first because it states in their description that it is for sensitive skin. Otherwise, the Clearest I think works just great as well. So the last one that I did try is the Aloe Soothing Cream from Corex. It is SPS 50 as well. Now, this one is running at $12.07. It is formulated with aloe. It is to protect against UVA and UVB sun rays while hydrating your skin. And I find that this one is a little bit thick, okay? And it's a little bit thicker than the other two, and it's not as water-based. It does leave a little bit of a tackiness, which then will, over like, I want to say a period of five to eight minutes, maybe, the tackiness will go away. It doesn't leave a white film or cast, but you really have to work it in your skin in order for it to kind of go away. I think it is just thicker because it has aloe in it, and the aloe extract that they put in it, it's supposed to keep your skin more 
moisturize on the most hottest days. So yeah, I think that they just made it a little bit thicker because they had to add that aloe in there. Overall, I would say the Clearest would be my first one that I would recommend. And then the Bano Baggy one after and the Aloe Soothing Sun Cream Corex as my least one that I would gravitate towards. Now, SPF 50 and they're all protecting for the UVA and UVB. Why did I choose these three? Because like I said, I am slowly working into wearing sunscreen on my face every day because you're going to want to protect it. It's pretty much exposed to the sun every day through the windows, outside, direct, you know, through, through the shade. So it's best to wear it. And plus your face is going to be the first thing as well as your neck and your hand are going to be the first places that people will see of any anti-aging or, uh, Ring. Just be protected and protect yourself and just start wearing sunscreen. It, it does take a little extra time if you have never added sunscreen to your skincare routine. But just think of it as a moisturizer. So if you're not going to moisturize, just throw the sunscreen on and then go on with your day. But overall, yes, these are the three that I've tried and that's my review on the three. Obviously, I'm going to continue using all three and figuring out maybe I will change my mind. I don't know. And if I do, I will let you know. But I just want to finish off by saying protect yourself and your skin. Skin. Don't forget to wear sunscreen. It is getting hotter in all these days, especially it is summer where I am. Your skin is the largest organ in your body and you're going to want to make sure you are being safe, healthy for it. Okay? I just want to say thank you so much for staying in tune and listening on the three different type of brands of sunscreen that I've tried. Hopefully you'll try it and if you do, let me know how you feel about it. Don't forget that I do have a Yes Style code that you can use and I'll link that down below so that if you guys wanted to purchase this, you can use that to save a little bit of money on that but yeah let me know what you guys think and which one would be your favorite or if you've tried them let me know what you guys think thank you so much for watching and staying in tune don't forget to like share and subscribe hit that bell if you want to get that notification when I upload again but overall thank you so much and I'll catch you guys on the next video bye